In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to animate your rigged car model in Blender. But before watching this video, I highly recommend checking out my first video where I show you how to rig your very own car model in Blender using a free add-on. Once you watch that video, come back to this one. Again, if you want access to this entire blend file, you can get access to it through my Patreon if you become a member at only $3 a month. Plus, if you become a member, you also get access to my beginner car animation course, which is valued at 10 bucks. But if you become a member, you basically get it for free. So yeah, consider subscribing to my Patreon. It's the best way to support me. Let's grow a huge community on Patreon. But without further ado, let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, for this tutorial, make sure you download and install the Blender Kit add-on. Link in the description. It shows you how to install the add-on here. Once you have it installed, uh, there will be a search bar like this in Blender, which will give you access to a ton of free assets. Okay, to get started, let's first hide our car rig. And then let's search for a road asset. And we'll choose free first. We'll be using this procedural road, so just drag it into your Blender viewport. Uh, close that and then select your road, hit RZ90, enter, and then we'll go to top view, uh, top view like this. And then we're going to select uh, this move tool and then move it up and then to the side. We can also go into material preview to see the road texture better. And then hit tab to go into edit mode, select this point here, and then hit RZ90 minus enter and then we can just uh, drag it down RZ and let's just rotate it this way actually zoom in let's just try to make it parallel to this line here okay now bring back your Ford card model okay and now before we do anything with the car model let's first make this road 300 meters so in order to do that, we can just use the measuring tool here and let's just measure out uh, 300 meters real quick. So I think it's from here all the way down. It doesn't have to be exact, just about 300 meters. That's good enough. And then select this point right here and then hit GY and bring it up. Select this point, hit GY, bring it up. Select this point, GY, bring it up. And then select this point, hit S to scale it. And then it'll just make the road a little more smoother along the curve. Do the same with this S and then scale it up. And now you can shape it however you like. RZ. I'm going to shape it. Uh, I don't, I don't want to make it too curvy. So let's just let's do. Okay, so this is what my road setup looks like. You know what? I'm actually just going to straighten this one out. RZ and then I'm just straighten out with this. Uh, once your road is set up, uh, let's just select this uh, car rig box, zoom into it, and then we can hide it, and then select your car rig, and let's do G, Y, and move it up. G, X, move it here, and then select your road, go to the modifiers, and we can increase the lane width, because I want it to be a little wider. Something like that could work. And then move your car well actually move let's move the road g and then x like here and then move your car model okay let's also increase the the sidewalk width okay nice okay now let's animate our car driving along this path so to do that we are going to select our car rig go to pose mode and then we are going to select this blue part here, click that, and then go to the bone constraints and select follow path. Then for the target, we're gonna make it the procedural road. Then do fixed position, curve radius, follow curve, uh, minus Y, then just uh, hit animate path. Okay, and then you can delete any keyframe here. So just delete this keyframe by hitting A, hovering over this timeline and then hit X and then delete. And then uh, before we have the car move along the path, because you can do that by using this offset factor, it's currently not going following the path like smoothly. 
you can see it's like a little rough. So to fix that, let's just go back to object mode, select the road, and then go to the data properties and then switch this resolution to 64 and 64. Now, if you go back to the car, uh, go back to pose mode, and let's reposition it uh, over here. GX, let's go top view, GY, and, and then all we have to do is just move this offset factor and it'll follow the path perfectly, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, while you're on frame one on your timeline, uh, add a keyframe by hitting this right here. And then we're gonna make this animation about eight seconds since we're rendering at 24 FPS. So 192 frames, go to the last frame, 192, and then uh, make this one and then add in a keyframe. And now you have your car driving along the path if you hit play, which is pretty nice. Now, if you want the wheels to move automatically, just uh, hit N, go to the rigger car add-on and make sure this wheels uh, is checked. Now it the, the wheels will move automatically on their own. Okay, nice. Now uh, we want to add some uh, movement to the suspension when the car starts to move. So to do that, we are going to, well, let's first go to the bone properties and then let's uh, add in a keyframe by hitting I on our keyboard while hovering over the transformation settings, I. And then let's go six frames, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's uh, move towards the car and then let's move the suspension back. So hit G and then X or sorry, Y, move it back a little. And then hit I to add in another keyframe. And then let's go, let's go about four frames forward. One, two, three, four. And then let's uh, zoom in again. And then let's do forward motion, G, Y a little bit. Add in a keyframe. And then let's do three frames, one, two, three. And then it'll go back to normal. So G and Y, and then the suspension will go back to normal. Okay, and then finally another keyframe, boom. Okay, so to see this properly, we need to add in a camera as well. So let's add in our camera. So let's, uh, let's go back to object mode. Let's do Shift A, add in a camera, and then let's move the camera up. And let's move it to this, well, Actually, let's move it to the side and let's add in a constraint. So let's go to follow path constraint. The target is going to be the road again. And then let's do minus Y and then fixed position, curve, radius, follow curve. Okay, so it's not minus Y, it's just Y. Yeah, just Y. And then let's hit zero on our number pad to go into camera view and let's adjust the camera. So it's facing the car. This is not gonna, this is not gonna be the final camera position. Just, this is just to see the animation. So yeah, okay. So let's uh, hit play. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, uh, <laughs> I forgot we got to animate the camera as well. So let's go to the constraint properties again and let's hit, make sure you're on frame one, add in a keyframe and then go to the end frame and then add in a one and then add in another keyframe. Okay, so now if we go back, we can see it moves, which is pretty nice. We can look this in solid view if, if you're not getting a better view. So boom, yes. So the animation starts a little too fast. So to fix that, we are gonna go to the pose mode, select this bottom rig here. And then while on the timeline, right click and make the interpolation mode Bezier. And we'll do the same thing with the camera. So right click and then Bezier. And now if you hit play, it starts a little more naturally, which is what we want. Okay, so now that we have the animation and the car driving on the road, let's make the camera movement a little more realistic. So for the camera motion, I'm gonna actually have the camera. Let's go to the object mode and then uh, transformation settings and let's move the camera. I'm gonna have the camera start from behind the car a little bit. And we'll make the focal length 25 millimeters. So let's just zoom in a bit more. Okay, so let's start from here. 
Let's start from here. And then we'll hit I and then I on the location and rotation. And then we'll play the animation. And then once it gets like around the halfway point, so maybe around like 100 frames, I will move the camera to a different position. So maybe here. And then let's hit I and then I to add in the keyframe. And let's see what that looks like. So boom, starts like this. Okay, not bad. Uh, maybe I wanted to have want I want it to be a little farther away. Let's just uh, let's move it farther away. Boom! Add in another keyframe and let's see what that looks like. Okay, not bad. And then for the last position, the last position is going to be posi position C, which is on the last frame. So for the last frame, go to the last frame and then let's just adjust the camera. Maybe move it farther and. So yeah, this is going to be the final position. Hit I and then I. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So starts off from the side, cool, and then it starts to move a little forward. So um, we we're gonna have to add in another road here, since uh, since there's no road at the end here. So let's just add in another road. Let's just duplicate it. Hitting Alt D, and let's just bring it forward and let's just adjust it so there's another road let's smooth out this part here where it switches to the next part of the animation so let's just hit a let's add in bezier yeah there we go so let's just uh let's end it at 180 before it slows down and now let's add some camera shake to the animation as well. So let's uh, select the camera. Let's go to the graph editor and let's add in some camera shake. So let's go and select the object transformation. Let's go to the X rotation and let's add in a, uh, you can get this menu by hitting N. Let's add in a modifier and let's add in a noise modifier. And then we can just, so if you play right now, it's going crazy, uh, which is not what we want. We want it to be a little more subtle. So let's uh, decrease the strength to like 0. Uh, 0 0.03. Yeah. And we can also add a noise modifier on the Z rotation. So if you click the Z rotation and to see it better, just hover over your timeline and hit home on your keyboard. And then we can add in a noise modifier. So boom. And then we could just, let's decrease the strength to like, I don't know, 0 0.08. And it's still, I don't want it to be like, like jagged like this. I want the lines to be a little more smoother. So let's just increase the scale. And I guess that works. So I also don't want the shaking to start right away because it takes time for the car to start moving and the camera to start moving. So we can do that by restricting the frame range. So, so just check mark this. And we'll have the shaking on the Z rotation start from frame, let's say frame. So let's actually start the shaking at 14 and end at 192. And it's got to blend in at 14. And then again, blends in, blends out at like 192. Yeah, and we'll do the same with the X rotation as well. So restrict frame range, and we'll have it start at 14, end at 192. It'll blend in at 14 and end at 192. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, there we go. That works perfectly. We'll actually have it end at maybe like 200 and like 200 as well. It automatically switches it to 186 because it's got to blend it out, but that's okay. Uh, just ignore that. It's okay. And we'll do the same with this. So let's actually have it end at like 200. Switch this to 200. Uh, I also want to adjust one last thing. So let's go back to the timeline. And for frame 192, let's actually have it... Let's actually have it farther back. 
like that. Hit I, see what that looks like. Yeah, I like that. At frame 100, I also want it to be a little more farther back. So let's just move it back a bit and then hit I. You know what? We're actually going to add one last point here. So um, I don't like how the animation cuts off the car a little bit here too quickly. And then, you know, it's showing more of the road here. So let's let's go to like frame 68 and let's just have the camera fo be focused more on the car by moving the Z rotation. like that, and then we can hit I, and then I on both the rotation and location, and let's see what that looks like. Yeah, way better. I like that much better. One last thing we can do to add some more realism, we can also have the suspension uh, look like it's interacting with the road a bit. If we go into material preview, uh, it looks like the road has some bumps on it. So we kind of want the car to be interacting with those bumps. Select the car rig, let's go to pose mode and let's just uh, select the suspension, go back to the graph editor. And if we open up the suspension and then choose the Z, we can see that the Z, if you hit G and then Z, controls the up and down movement of the suspension. To add some shake to it, let's uh, add in a noise modifier again. And let's go to the camera view. And it's going to be shaking too much. Like that's way too much shake. So let's just, uh, let's add, let's reduce that shake to like, I don't know. Maybe uh, smooth that out a bit. It's still too much shake. So let's just, let's go to, yeah, I think that's good. And again, we can't have it shake too fast. So let's, Restrict the frame range and let's start it from, let's start, yeah, let's start from 14 and end at like 200. And we'll do the same with the blend in and then 200. Okay, so that does it for this part. And the next and final part, I'm gonna show you how to set up your car animation environment uh, by adding some road assets and some highway overpasses. And then I will finally teach you how to render out your animation and you'll be good to go. So yeah. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe because I want to be making more tutorials like this. And if you haven't already, make sure you check out my Patreon where I post this whole entire tutorial file for you to download and use and study uh, for whatever project you want to do. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in the final part.